Hello. This is the Cambridge Starters Practice Listening Test. Test 3. Part 1. Look at Part 1. Now look at the picture. Listen and look. There is one example. Put the bird next to the sun. Put the bird where? Put it there. It's flying next to the sun. OK. Can you see the line? This is an example. Now you listen and draw lines. 1. Put the cake between the two children. Sorry? Put the cake where? Between the children. Right. Two. Now put the frog in the water. In the water? Yes. Put it behind the fish. That's good. A frog behind the fish. Three. Put the watermelon in front of the boy. Pardon? Put the watermelon in front of the boy. OK. Four. Put the lemonade in the box next to the girl. Sorry? Where do I put the lemonade? In the box next to the girl. OK. Five. And now, put the hat on the sheep's head. Pardon? The hat. Put it on the sheep's head. Right. It's a hot day. Now listen to part one again. One. Put the cake between the two children. Sorry? Put the cake where? Between the children. Right. Two. Now put the frog in the water. In the water? Yes. Put it behind the fish. That's good. A frog behind the fish. Three. Put the watermelon in front of the boy. Pardon? Put the watermelon in front of the boy. OK. Four. Put the lemonade in the box next to the girl. Sorry? Where do I put the lemonade? In the box next to the girl. OK. Five. And now, put the hat on the sheep's head. Pardon? The hat. Put it on the sheep's head. Right. It's a hot day. That is the end of part one. Look at the picture. Listen and write a name or a number. There are two examples. Hello. What's your name? Kim. How do you spell that? K-I-M. Is it your birthday today, Kim? Yes, it is. Happy birthday. How old are you? I'm six today. Six? Great! Can you see the answers? Now you listen and write a name or a number. One. Now, where do you live, Kim? In New Street. Is that... N-E-W 
Yes, that's right. Two. What number is your house? It's number seventeen. Sorry, what number? Seventeen. Three. How many people live at your house? There are eight of us. Eight. Yes. My grandma and grandpa live with us. Four. And what's your grandpa's name? His name's Bill. Is that B I L L? That's right. I love my grandpa. Five. And do you have a sister? Yes, I have a big sister. She's twelve. How old? Twelve. Yes, that's right. Now listen to part two again. One. Now, where do you live, Kim? In New Street. Is that N E W? Yes, that's right. Two. What number is your house? It's number seventeen. Sorry, what number? Seventeen. Three. How many people live at your house? There are eight of us. Eight. Yes, my grandma and grandpa live with us. Four. And what's your grandpa's name? His name's Bill. Is that B I L L? That's right. I love my grandpa. Five. And do you have a sister? Yes, I have a big sister. She's twelve. How old? Twelve. Yes, that's right. That is the end of part two. Look at the pictures. Listen and look. There is one example. Which girl is Sue? Which is Sue? The new girl in your class? Is she the girl with black hair? No, Sue's got brown hair. Is her hair long? No. It's very short. Can you see the tick? Now you listen and tick the box. One. Which monster does Sam like? This book's good, Sam. Do you like the monsters? Hmm. I don't like the monster with one eye. I like the one with three legs. Do you? No. Here's my favorite: the monster with six arms. Two. How does Sam go to school? Do you go to school on your bike, Sam? No, I don't. Oh. Do you go on the bus? No. 
I walk to school with my sisters. Three. What's Anne wearing? Can you see Anne? Yes. She's there, next to that boy. Is she wearing a dress? No. She's wearing jeans and a t-shirt. Four. What's Pat's favorite lunch? What's your favorite lunch, Pat? Is it burgers and french fries? No. I don't like them. Oh. Is it meat and potatoes? No. My favorite lunch is chicken and rice. Five. Which is Tom's kite? Is this orange kite Tom's? No. It's his brother's. Is Tom's kite pink then? No. Tom's kite is white. Now listen to part three again. One. Which monster does Sam like? This book's good, Sam. Do you like the monsters? Mmm. I don't like the monster with one eye. I like the one with three legs. Do you? No. Here's my favorite. The monster with six arms. Two. How does Sam go to school? Do you go to school on your bike, Sam? No, I don't. Oh. Do you go on the bus? No. I walk to school with my sisters. Three. What's Anne wearing? Can you see Anne? Yes. She's there, next to that boy. Is she wearing a dress? No. She's wearing jeans and a t-shirt. Four. What's Pat's favorite lunch? What's your favorite lunch, Pat? Is it burgers and french fries? No, I don't like them. Oh. Is it meat and potatoes? No. My favorite lunch is chicken and rice. Five. Which is Tom's kite? Is this orange kite Tom's? No, it's his brother's. Is Tom's kite pink then? No, Tom's kite is white. That is the end of part three. Look at the picture. Listen and look. There is one example. Look at this picture. It's a kitchen. Yes. Please can I color the phones? There are seven. Yes. There's a phone in a bag. Color it red. Okay. A red phone in the bag. Can you see the red phone in the bag? This is an example. Now you listen and color. One. Now, there's a phone on the chair. Yes, I can see it. Color it blue. Okay. The phone on the chair, I'm coloring it blue. That's right. Two. Can you see the phone between the apples and the radio? Yes. Color it grey. The phone between the apples and the radio. 
That's good. I'm colouring it grey. Three. The cat's got a phone. Can you see it? Yes. It's talking to its friends. Colour that phone purple. OK. The cat's phone is purple. Four. Now, the phone under the table. Can I colour it yellow? Yes. OK. There's a yellow phone under the table. Five. And now, look at the flowers. Yes, there's a phone next to them. That's right. The phone next to the flowers. Colour it green. OK. It's green. Good. Now listen to part four again. One. Now, there's a phone on the chair. Yes, I can see it. Colour it blue. OK. The phone on the chair, I'm colouring it blue. That's right. Can you see the phone between the apples and the radio? Yes. Colour it grey. The phone between the apples and the radio. That's good. I'm colouring it grey. Three. The cat's got a phone. Can you see it? Yes, it's talking to its friends. Colour that phone purple. OK, the cat's phone is purple. Four. Now, the phone under the table. Can I colour it yellow? Yes. OK. There's a yellow phone under the table. Five. And now, look at the flowers. Yes. There's a phone next to them. That's right. The phone next to the flowers. Colour it green. OK. It's green. Good. That is the end of the Starters Practice Listening Test 3.